it in properly. All right. Okay, all right. Yo, okay. yo. Is that the one? Oh, yeah. It's a bump okay. for me. <laughs> <laughs> No, guys, no, 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 no. Litabo has no business wearing tight clothes like this. This is beyond embarrassing. Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is the Coffee with Jay. I hope you guys are doing great. So I'm not sure if you guys watched the latest episode of the Ultimate Girls Trip, but Litabo's BBL is very heavy sham. Someone said, Well, a joy by a tanda was Kulumisane. Spins is a joy to stand next to Londi and let's see with that body. Personally, I saw the sham. Someone else said, Dr. Pert is evil and must account for her sins. What is this? You guys saw for yourselves. Even Londi burst out laughing. But Dr. Pert has been known for her works. We've seen what she's done with Cyan Bougie. We've seen what she's done with Dora Mongi. So at this point, I'm not sure if we should start getting worried because it's a lot. Did you guys have a look at Letabo's Deb in July dress? I mean, what was happening? The body couldn't even carry the dress. It was a lot. Okay, now not only is Letabo's body being criticized, her character too. Someone said, I'm not afraid to say Letabo Lejo is not reality TV material. I for one won't miss her. She's easily forgettable. The theatrics she does are too much. This woman is constantly living in a facade. Everything about her is fake and forced. And I agree 100%. What is Letabo even doing on the ultimate girl's trip because she gives us absolutely nothing? What she's even talking about is even more delusional. Calling Mel a racist girl? No. I don't think she needs to come back on TV ever. At this point, she's really starting to get annoying. But her body, girl, maybe don't put on tight clothes. It'll be better. We know what you wanted about, but no, no. Do let me know what you think down in the comment section. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video.